Hi everyone, this is just a quick reminder that Cooking to the Beat is now available for £20. If you want to get a copy, all the info is downstairs. Now it's amazing to see the recipes that you guys have been cooking from Cooking to the Beat. Keep sending us the great work, we absolutely love it. Now as we enter another three weeks of lockdown here in the UK, we thought we'd cheer you up with a super sassy pass it on that we filmed earlier in the year. Enjoy. I don't know what to do. That's annoying! It looks terrible. We're hiding these. Ow! What is going on here? This is a joke. Where's the dish? This should be really obvious. Oh dear, oh dear. Buongiorno, welcome to Fridge Cam. I am Jamie and this is Michelangelo. And if you're Italian and are offended by that, then I'd just switch off from this video altogether. These are the best days ah. for the audience. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, reveal all. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not that much, Jan, put it back. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Okay, Janice, what have you got for us today? First up, the order. Due to the community's interest in Jamie's recent facial hair crisis, our pass it on order will be determined by your ability to grow facial hair from most to least. You decide. Oh. But I would say that these two have thickest <laughs> follicle grouping. I'm definitely <laughs> going down here because. Does it mean I'm going first or last? This has taken 33 years, I've never shaved. <laughs> Do we actually have a theme? Today you will all try to cook the same dish. That dish will only be revealed to the person going first. Here you go. Oh, this is going to be fine. Should we leave you to it? Please. Let's do this. Right. We can do this. I'll be back in 40. Oh. Right. I'm going to go for this. Janice told us that we're going to do spag bowl, which I think is really great. Uh, first, I've got to do a, oh no, what is it in Italian? It's a frito Spanish. Carrots, onion, and celery. And I feel like we probably all cook bolognese in very different ways. There is pasta on the table. There is also flour and egg yolks. I'll leave that up to Barry, he can work that out. James has trust issues in that he clearly trusts Barry too much. I'm also heating up the pan because I want to start with the pancetta. I always put chopped tomatoes in. Is that traditional? I'm not sure. Also traditionally, what goes into a bolognese is a lot of time, as in hours, and we have 50 minutes. I think also a lot of people put in red wine, and I've chosen white wine. Well, what I'm trying to do right now is get pancetta crispy, get all the veg prepped so that Barry can just come in and start chucking things in and getting it cooking. Notice some bread on there, so maybe a nice garlic bread would be good. I feel like that's got Jamie all over it. I always make spaghetti bolognese very regularly. I always take under an hour to do it. I know it's not right. I just want people to know that I, I do respect it, but also spaghetti bolognese is such a great midweek dish if you do it in under an hour. I don't see how anybody could not understand that this is a spaghetti bolognese by looking at that table and these ingredients. I've got the carrots, onion and celery on. Two and a half minutes, oh my goodness. Okay, so what I've done for Barry is, actually, is get the two minces. So there's pork mince and there's beef mince. I think that's really important. The pork mince will be really fatty. Oh, I should definitely put water on for the pasta. It'll need seasoning. And if Mike doesn't get the pasta on, we, we do not have a dish. How long do I have? A minute. Right, I'm gonna get some more ingredients so that I can kind of like steer Barry in the right direction a bit more. He can do whatever he wants, um, but I hope he uses milk, tomato puree, and beef stock, and wine. I don't think it's 100% necessary. Salt. It might change completely by the time I get back, but I think we're gonna end up with something delicious because it's spaghetti bolognese. Um, I'm gonna give myself a eight out of 10. It's time for Barry. Don't mess it up. Barry! Okay, let's do this. A lot of meat going on. Some, it looks Italian. What's that called? Mirepoix? That would be a sofrito, Barry. We're doing some sort of stewy sort of thing. You're doing it, would you like a shepherd's pie? Water. 
What's that water for? What can we be in the water? There's no potatoes for a, like to create a kind of a, a mashed topping. I don't see how anybody could not understand that this is a spaghetti bolognese. Ugh! What are we doing? Clues wise on here, there are no potatoes. I really hope this is bolognese. I'm committing. It's not screaming at me because this isn't here and I thought James would have made this bit obvious. Okay, wait, calm down Barry. I make bolognese all the time at home. Just make it like I make it at home. And let's fry the beef off. It's not hot, is it? I'm gonna leave the pork out because that's not what I do. So what can I do in my time? I've only got half my time left and all I've done is put that in there. Some red wine, I need some red wine. Red wine? Right, come on, fry off. What else I can do? Hmm. I'll make some garlic bread. That's what I do. Who's next to me? Jamie. He'll know what to do. Going in. I need, I need more meat. Add some pork as well then. Not all of it. I've now committed. It's going to be a delicious spag bowl. That's for sure. Whether or not it should have been a spag bowl in the first place, I don't know. I've just committed. Whilst the pork cooks off, I'm going to deglaze this pan with a bit of red wine. I'm going to add some herbs to my pork mince. Go in, in. Get it in, Barry. Get it in. Beef stock in. Pork. In. Tomato puree. In. I'm not sure if this is traditional. I'm sure there are better ways. I've left the hob on. Of course he has. I'm going to give myself a nine. As long as this is a, a spaghetti bolognese. Oh no. Jamie! What are we making? What are we making? What are we making? Oh, spaghetti. We're making spaghetti bolognese. How long have we got left? Half an hour? How is that going to, this needs to be on and going now. So we've obviously got some mints going on in there. There's, uh, what's it called when you have a, a thing with the, the onions and the celery and the, and the carrots? It's called a... A sofrito. We've got one of them. Some people put milk in their bolognese, don't they? Because that adds a really nice creaminess. So let's add that in, that'd be great. How much? Who knows, that much. That is red wine. I don't know if there is any red wine in here already, but if, just in case. There isn't a lot that I'm gonna be able to do to that because that needs to cook. So, what I can do instead, start some garlic bread. Oven, on. So James had to get all the chopping out of the way for the, it's really annoying me what it's called. What's it called? It's called a- A sofrito. It's called, uh, when you, you chop the, the onion and the celery and the carrot, and you put all of that- A sofrito. It's called a... A sofrito. It's called a... A sofrito. Almost got it. Now I'm just gonna spend the next six minutes making garlic bread and thinking about what it's supposed to be called because it's called a... I don't care anymore. So, Janice, is there any chance you can put that in the microwave for 10 seconds, please? Yeah, sure, because that's in my job description. Thank you, Janice, my sweetheart. I'm sorry, what? Oh, Janice, I am such a fool. I'm about to feed him that butter through every one of his orifices. You ever leave me, there's nothing I won't do. <sighs> Janice, you will always be my sweetheart. I'm getting 8.50 an hour for this. No matter where we go. He's got a minute left. Right, let's get this in here like this. Yeah, I've given up on spreading because I'm running out of time. <laughs> time! Ah, oh, my score is... 7.77. Mike! Cooey! <laughs> oh my god, I'm already nervous. Uh, okay, we have a bubbling mince. Nothing in the oven. Butter, garlic bread, we're making spaghetti bolognese. Uh, right, Whew, 20 minutes. I assume that that's gonna be garlic bread, so that just wants to go in. I, what can I do? Is this like the remnants of some snacking bread? That can't be touched because that's just got to bubble away. I think I'm right. This has to be spaghetti bolognese. So do, I want to do this now. Oh, right, just act. Yes, oh no, I didn't check whether that was salted. No, not at all. And if there's one thing I've learned from working with chefs is that if you're going to cook pasta, you need to cook it in almost seawater saltiness. Right. Bubble away, please. I have no idea what's gone into this. There's, there's a mirepoix. 
Oh, f Italians will hate me for saying this. I would chuck some Worcester sauce or something to get that umami sort of depth into that. Is that a job for Ebers though? I've done nothing. So we've got garlic bread there. Mm, garlic bread seems a bit basic. But what, what shall I do? What shall I do? Good old Mike, ever dependable in a crisis. Uh, I don't want to do a veg. I, I know what I'm going to do. I've got an idea. Okay. Whoa, I'm going to have to be quick. Right, okay, oh, I should have thought about this earlier. So, what I'm gonna do, I love the idea of a bread. I'm, I'm not in love with the idea of doing garlic bread. What if I did like a bruschetta mix? And for that, I've got to blanch some tomatoes. Basil, do we have any basil? Yes! Hot water, I've, I'm gonna say cross-hatched. Put little crosses on the tomatoes because it'll make it easier to peel the skin. Salt, loads of pepper, really good quality olive oil in there balsamic vinegar. It's normally I'd put some garlic in that, but I hope that there's enough garlic in there. Right, let's get these out. Let's peel these. I'm hoping this will give Ebers enough to go on. I didn't get as far as I wished. I would have liked to have finished this, but I thought about it too late. I'm going to score myself four because I didn't really do much. It is literally up to bed now. Right, I mean, it smells and looks like we've got spag bowl on the go. What else have we got? Some ciabatta that's nice and crispy. This is very fancy. I think someone wants to do tomato con casse with some tomatoes into boiling water, but then it'll be needs to be drained into ice cold water. I wonder if we've got that and all the time for that. A bold dish to try and get done in this amount of time. I'm going to drain our pasta. I think this was a lovely idea, but I just don't think in the time left we've got the time to do that. So instead, let's do what they were aiming to do which was get rid of the wet bits. A little bit of that with our tomatoes. So far, I think this is a pretty good team effort. This is bubbling rapidly. I think we're pretty close. If you are cheating with a ragu, you're not cooking it for hours and hours and hours, there's a couple of other things you can do to add in extra oomph for flavor. Again, the people of Bologna will probably wince, but I love putting anchovies into meatballs. It gives it not a fishiness, but an umaminess. I tell you what, that's not bad at all. The classic bolognese, with a tagliatelle, wouldn't use much meat ragu. Kind of the version you get around the rest of the world, tends to be more saucy and does use spaghetti. A little bit of our sauce just to bind it all together. The pasta is well seasoned, should be just enough to kind of coat it. I'll tell you what would be nice, some parmesan and a plate. Even that is a generous portion. we can take some of this garlic bread now and whack some of this tomato on there. Sorry whoever wanted it, Fincasse, I've let you down. A plume of basil, a couple of those. Enough time to pour ourselves a glass of wine. A bit of a mess, but one hell of a team effort. I think I'll give myself eight, or I did with season it and stir it. Do it. <laughs> Are we hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kapow! Oh, yes! <laughs> It's spaghetti bolognese, which I assume was the dish. Oh, it's <laughs> actually meatball sub. No, it's spaghetti bolognese! Yay! Yay! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, number one, we made the right dish. Yeah, tick. Spaghetti bolognese, cheat style with awesome garlic bruschetta. There's a lot of ways we could have gone, so I tried to guide us. In hindsight, I feel like maybe I should have like grated up all the sofrito. But. Sofrito. Oh, I called it a mirepoix. Should we try it? Oh, wow, bold, Mike. <laughs> cheers, 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 cheers. Cheers. Good, man. But for 50 minutes. That's, that's that's a pretty good bolognese. <laughs> it is. Rip some bruschetti. Right. Okay, well, cool. There is just enough garlic on that. <laughs> Whoa. So another tip is if you have time, and in this situation probably not, just to soften the garlic, in the butter as you heat it up, or to roast the garlic is going to take away that raw garlic edge. But That's what you want, though, isn't it? Mm. I was really worried that was going to be bland. Yeah, wet. Me too. Mm. I would be happy if I had cooked that in two hours myself at home. It felt like we worked as a team. Yeah. And it was like for the first time coming in and seeing some bread out, but then a hot pan already boiling, it was that someone had considered What's the person coming next. Yeah. And that felt like a new experience for me. All right, uh, James, what do you score yourself? And what would you score this, a pass or a fail? 
I gave myself an eight. I'm gonna say a pass, it's, it's very delicious. I gave myself a nine. I didn't screw anything up, so I couldn't pick any points off myself, so. Oh, you start at 10 and then take them out. Oh, yeah. right. Oh, I, I get it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get it. That is a real That's insight into how your brain works. As a, either way, it's a pass. I gave myself a 7.77, and I would class that as a pass. Great. I gave myself a four, because I mostly spent it panicking, and then I dipped some tomatoes in hot water. But I would definitely class this as a pass. You also could put 50% of it on at the right time, which was the pasta, in well-seasoned water. You're being lovely, Ebers, but I, think, I put I some you... pasta in some water. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I brought it together, so I gave myself an eight. But collectively, I think we all did probably higher than that, and I definitely a pass. Is that our first five-way pass? <laughs> We've done it! <laughs> And there you have it. You did that. Yeah, let us know how we did in the comments. Rank us from best to worst. Yay! <laughs> and please send us more themes, more recipes for us to have a crack at next. Talking about having a crack. Oh no. You heard that joke? Crack a joke. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Good link. What's loud and sounds like apples? Don't know. Apples! <laughs> <laughs> We've also built the Sorted Club, where you can get tons of foodie inspo using the PAX Midweek Meal app, discover and share restaurant recommendations using the Eat app, listen and contribute to our Feast Your Ears podcast, and send us ideas for new cookbooks you'll receive throughout the year. Check it all out by heading to sorted.club. And now a blooper. I was more worried about screwing it up than I was getting it right at that point. I was more really worried about the screwing it up than I was about getting it right. Are they two separate? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Anyway. English isn't his it first must language. must be. <laughs> sorry, Baz, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's, no, it's not fair anymore.